Welcome to the first of our two workouts. This is the easier one. And including the warm up and cool down, it'll last about 20 minutes. You're gonna need a chair and a towel or a shawl and weights. Now, I, I have dumbbells, but if you don't have dumbbells, you can use cans of food or water bottles. And speaking of water, keep water around because you should stay hydrated. Now, a few words about posture, because posture is really important. Stand with your feet hip distance apart. Pull up tall. Think of a string coming up the top of your head, pulling up, shoulders are back and down, but don't let your rib cage stick out. And then keep your abs tight. And by that, I, I don't mean just sucked in. Imagine someone's gonna punch you in the stomach and you tighten your abs to receive the punch. That's what I mean, that kind of feeling, when I say engage your abs. Knees are soft. Put your hand in front of your nose and now pull your head back one inch. Now your head is right on top of your spine. Feel what this is like. This is correct posture. You should be like this all the time, sitting, standing, walking. This is real empowering kind of posture, okay? Now, we're gonna start with seated pelvic tilts. Shoulders back, don't sit all the way back against the chair. Pull up tall, abs in, and curl forward, squeeze, and back. Exhale, forward, squeeze your glutes, and back. When I say glutes, I'm talking about your buttock muscles. And back, and squeeze, and Exhale, inhale. You always exhale on the hard part, and inhale. And four more, and back. And squeeze, and release. Squeeze, and release. Last time, it's forward and back. Good going. Now we're gonna work our abs, and remember what I said, feel like someone's gonna punch you, and you tighten to receive the blow of the punch. Squeeze and release, and tighten and release, and exhale, inhale. See it? In and release. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Having a strong stomach is important to protect the back. Squeeze, release. You've got two more. Squeeze, release. Squeeze and release, really good. Okay, now we're gonna do torso extension. Take your left arm across your body, place your hand on your thigh. Put your hand behind your chair, inhale, twist, exhale. Inhale, exhale, twist even more. Try to get your chin over your shoulder and release. Again, inhale and twist, exhale. Inhale and twist even more, breathing into the stretch and release. Inhale, twist, exhale, inhale. Exhale, twist even more and release. This is the last time, inhale, exhale, twist, inhale, exhale and twist even more. It'll get easier the more you do it and release. And the other side, right hand on your thigh, Arm behind the chair, inhale, and twist. Inhale, and twist even more, and release. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and twist. Use the hand behind your chair to maximize the twist and release. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Push yourself around, chin over your shoulder, and release. One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, breathe into it and twist, and release. That's really good. Now we're gonna do ankle circles. Now if you can, just lift your thigh. If you wanna hold on, you can, try not to. We're gonna circle five times clockwise. One, two, three, four. Five, reverse. Ankle mobility is really important for balance. Four, five, other leg. And clockwise, two, three, four, five, reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Great going. Now let's stand up and we're gonna do standing stretches. Ready, inhale up. 
and down. Do you know that if you get up and get active, even if you've never been active a day in your life, all of these exercises and so many other things can remain possible for you well into your 80s and beyond. And down, two more, that's up. And down, last time, that's reach. And down, and now reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good going. Now we're gonna do flat back bend overs. Stand up tall, slowly inhale, and slide your hands down your thighs as far as you can go with a flat back. Keep your eyes on me, and up, and squeeze your glutes. And down again, don't hyperextend your knees. Keep them soft, and up. Squeezing your glutes on the way up, and down. Reach your buttocks out behind you. Really feel the stretch in the back of your legs, and up, and squeeze. And down, keep looking at me, and up, squeeze down reach your buttocks out feel it in the back of your legs up and squeeze and down and up squeeze those glutes and down and keep your abs engaged as you go down keep looking at me and up and squeeze three more that's down and up and squeeze Got one more. Down, reach out, feel the stretch. Up and squeeze those glutes. Good, good. Now we're gonna sit down. You know, every time we stand up and sit down, we're doing a little exercise, right? We're gonna do knee raises. Sit up tall, exhale, lift your right leg up, inhale down. Exhale and 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 down. Keep your abs engaged. Try to keep your body in one plane. You know, don't, don't tip as you lift your leg. We're working our thighs. Yes. Keep breathing. Keep pulling up tall. The last time, that's great. Now, grab your weights. We're gonna do seated leg extensions with bicep curls. You got your weights? Okay. Fingers are facing outward, facing the TV set. Ready, pull up tall, abs in. Exhale, up, inhale, down. Use your thigh muscle, your quads. Really squeeze it when it gets up there. Pull in your abs, squeeze them tight, shoulders back. You're working your thigh and your, the muscles in the front of your arm, your biceps. These are good for lifting and all kinds of good things. Keep strong. We've got three more. And two, last time, then we'll go to the other leg and down. And exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Resistance training, you know, helps build bone density and tones up your muscles. And by building muscles, we increase our metabolism. Did you know that? What, what that means is that we burn more calories. So it's good to have muscle. Squeeze and down, four more, that's up and down. Pull up tall now, up and down, two more, that's lift and down. Last time, that's out and down, yay. Now, put your weights on the chair because you're gonna need them again in a moment. We're gonna stand behind the chair for alternating leg curls. This is gonna work the hamstrings. We're gonna start with our right leg and up, down. Up, down, really kick it up. That activates the hamstring. Oof. And down, and kick, and down. <laughs> Lift, and down. Don't rock. Keep your body stable. And if you can not hold on, that's good. I have to practice balance all the time. I am really challenged in the balance department, so I like doing this. Okay, and lift. Be sure that the thigh you're bending is parallel with the standing leg. Balancing is an important part of this exercise. Make sure you keep your abs engaged the entire time. Okay, good. Now we're going to walk to the side of the chair. Grab your weights again for side shoulder raises. This is such a great exercise. It works this muscle right here. 
which looks good and it's important for arm strength. Ready, knees are soft, pull up tall, abs in and up and down. You notice that my elbows are just a little bit bent. I used to say, think about hugging a big tree in the old days, remember that? And breathe, pull up tall, soft knees, abs in, head high, and down, and out, and down. Four more, that's out, and down, up, and down. Keep breathing, up, and down. Last time, that's up, and down. Great. Now put your weights down again, and we're going to do single leg balance. Boy. All right. You can hold on the chair if you have to, but try not to. Stand tall on your right leg and lift your left leg off the floor and balance. Ah, shoulders back. We're going to hold for 15 seconds. I cannot tell you how hard this is for me, ah, but try to do it. Try to practice. Balance is so important. It keeps us safe. Oh, three more seconds, two, one. Yay, we did it. I did it. I'm always surprised when I end up being able to do it. Go to the other side. Stand on your left leg. Hold on if you have to, try not to, and lift your right leg up. Do you know that every 35 minutes an older person dies from a fall? That's one reason why really improving your balance is so important. And don't forget to breathe. I know it's hard. At least it is for me. Oh my gosh, it's almost over. Ah, it's over. Great, good going. I'm so happy that's over. Let's sit down, take our weights. We're gonna sit in the chair and we're gonna do tricep work. Lift your arms above your head. Your fingers are facing each other and drop your weights back towards your shoulder and up. And back as far as you can go and up. Don't let them hit your shoulder. Really keep it controlled. Inhale. Inhale, keep your back strong, sit up tall, abs tight. This is working your triceps. They're the muscles in the back of the arm. Stretch and down, keep breathing. Up and down, up and down. Last time it's up and down, good. Now stand up and take one weight. Put your left foot behind you with a heel, pressing into the floor, the hand on the chair for balance. Okay, you with me so far? Front knee is bent, the inside knee. It's the leg that's closest to the TV that's out behind you with the knee pressing to the floor. Let your arms hang down. Inhale up, exhale, inhale, and down. And lift it up and extend and in and down. This is working the back, this is the tricep, and in and down. Lift, extend, keep your back flat, don't round over. And keep your elbow as close to your side as you can. Last time, out, in, and down. That's good. I know it gets confusing what leg I'm using, but I'm trying to explain it as well as I can. The outside leg, the one closest to the TV, is behind you with the knee pressing into the floor. The leg closest to the chair is front and bent. Arm is hanging down. Back is nice and flat. Abs are in. And lift, extend, back, and down. Exhale up, and back, in, and down. We're working the back and the tricep, and down. And breathe abs tight, back flat, and down. Two more, one, two, three. This is the last time. Up, back, in, and down. Great, put your weights down on the floor. We're gonna stand to the side of our chair, the right side of the chair. We're gonna be bringing our elbow to the same knee. You can hold onto the chair if you have to, but try not to. Balance on your left foot. Reach up and one, two, three. Pull up tall, don't rock. Try to really feel a string coming out the top of your head that's holding you Whew. tall. Four more, three, two, and one. Good. Now we'll walk to the other side. And do 
the same thing. Reach up, hold on if you have to, and pull down. We're working the oblique muscle in the waist now. Pull up tall and breathe. Abs tight. Really feel it. Keep your body strong. Four more. Three, two, one. Yay! Now stand behind your chair. We're going to do leg lifts to the side, alternating. Hold on if you have to. Starting to the right. Out and in. Out and in. Don't rock your body. Keep it straight up. Out and in. This tones the muscles in the hips and helps with hip mobility, which is really important. You know that according to research, people from 50 to 72 years old can actually increase their muscle mass 200% with exercise. I mean, isn't that amazing? Last time, other side. Lift and down. Lift and down. Keep your leg parallel with the standing leg. You know, don't let it go back or forward. Right to the side. And don't rock. Pull up tall. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last time. Great. Now holding onto the chair, we're going to do cross crawl, which means we're going to be lifting the leg closest to the chair at the opposite arm. Ready and up. And down. And up. And down. This is great for lower back muscles good for our coordination and you know what it works the brain can't get enough of that right and breathe and you notice I'm not rocking when I do this I'm not going forward pulling up tall lifting as I press my hip forward I'm lifting my leg behind me last time great other side you're gonna be lifting the leg closest to the chair opposite arm ready and exhale inhale exhale Inhale, really squeeze that glute as you lift your leg against it. And lift and lower, Whew. lift and lower. Keep breathing, you know we're almost through with the exercises. Four more, up and down, three and down. You've done so good, thank you for hanging in with me. Last time it's up and down, yay! Now we do stretches. You know, whenever you work your muscles, you always want to stretch them out. This is the time to get your towel, and I'll show you why. Now, some of you might be able to grab your foot, you know, and pull your heel into your buttock. If you can, that's great. Or if you want to hold on your pants, some of us need to use a towel. Wrap it around your ankle, hold on to the chair, and now pull your heel into your buttock. Okay, we're gonna hold it for 20 seconds. The bent thigh should be parallel with the standing leg, not forward and not back. The more intense the, the stretch is, you have to pull that heel closer to your buttock. Breathe and release. Now we do the other side. Wrap the towel around your ankle, hold onto the chair, and pull it in. You see, this knee that's bent is titanium and plastic. I'm totally bionic. I never thought I'd be able to bend my knee this much, but I can. And it feels really good, in fact. Three, two, one, and release. Now we're gonna do, put your towel on your chair. We're gonna need it a little bit later. Stretch your right leg back, pressing your heel into the floor. Feel the stretch in your upper calf. You feel it. You always have to hold stretches 20 seconds. You know, less than that, the muscle doesn't have time to really relax and release. Pull up tall. Three, two, one. Now bring that foot a little bit closer and bend the knee. Now you should feel the stretch in the lower calf muscle. Can you feel it? The lower part of the calf muscle. Keep that knee in alignment with your toes. Don't let it roll in. Front knee is bent a little bit. Keep your abdominals engaged. Pull up tall and press it down. Again, for 20 seconds, we have three left. Two, one, great. Other side. Stretch the left leg back, pressing the heel into the floor. Oh, it should feel good. 
That's a stretch in the upper calf muscle. Press your hips forward. Pull up tall, abs engaged. Staying flexible is so important all throughout life, but especially later in life. It's a way to avoid getting injured. Great, now bring that foot in a little bit. Bend your knee, keep it right in alignment over your toes. We're stretching the lower calf muscle now, feel it. You kind of sink down, knees are bent. Feel the stretch, pull up tall, keep breathing. That's great. Good for the ankles too, I can feel it stretching in my ankles. Two, one, wonderful. Now we're gonna do hamstrings. Left foot, flex the foot up. Keep the bent knee over your toes and pull down, stretching your buttocks out behind you so you can really maximize the stretch up the back of your leg and the hamstring. Feel it. Press your chest down. The more you reach out behind you and press your chest down, the more you'll maximize the stretch in the hamstrings. I love the way this feels. Am I crazy? I don't think so. I just know how important it is to stretch. I guess that's why it feels good. Four, three, two, one. Other side. Flex that left foot up really hard. Reach back with your buttocks. Back is flat. Chest is pressing down. Oh, it feels so good. Right up the back of the leg and the hamstring. I, mean, I could just stay here forever, actually. I really like this. But I have to go on. The next thing we're gonna do is hip stretch and release. Now, sit down. Keep your towel there for now. Take your right ankle on your left knee. Ah. This is challenging for some people. If it's too challenging for you, put your ankle in front of that knee. You know, straighten your leg a little bit so you can rest your ankle right on the front of it. Otherwise, try to put your, your ankle right on top of that knee, pull up tall. This stretches the gluteus muscles and the hips. It's important to keep our hips flexible. If you want to put a little added pressure on that knee, oh, I can't really do it, all that titanium. And other side. See, on this side is my hip that's titanium and ceramic. If you can't do it again, straighten that leg and, and put the ankle in front of the knee. Okay, let me get this side a little bit lower. I think it's hysterical that I live at a time when I can have titanium and plastic and ceramic that keeps me being able to do these kind of exercises. I mean, isn't that great? Wonderful, let go. Both feet on the ground. Now, this is where you're going to use your towel again. Hold on to both ends of the towel, put it behind your chair, and you're going to, your palms are facing backwards, right? Now, lift your arms up. Woo! Feel the stretch in the chest and shoulders. This is intense. Now, the closer your hands are together on the towel, the harder it's going to be. Try it sometime. Your chest can get very tight, and that leads to bad posture, so this is, this is really important. This also helps prevent rotator cuff issues, like impingement and other things. Three, two, one, and release. And release slowly, very slowly. Nowadays, everything is a little bit slower, and that's fine, slow is good. Take your right arm across your chest. Bring your left arm underneath, underneath. Don't bring your shoulder forward. Keep your shoulders back, back straight, and press against that shoulder. Sit up tall. Again, this is really good to prevent rotator cuff problems in your shoulders. And now release, and the other side, bring the left arm across, arm underneath, and press that across your chest, pulling the shoulder back when you press the arm into the chest. Pull up tall. See, my abs are still tight. My posture's still good. Three, two, one, and release. Now place your right hand under your chair, tuck your chin into your left shoulder, and put your hand on top of your head and gently, gently, gently press your chin down towards your shoulder like a robin tucking its beak under its wing. Press. Feel the stretch in the side of your neck. Pull up tall, keep your abs engaged. Breathe. Three, two, one. Slowly release and we'll do the other side. 
Left hand under the chair. Put your chin into your shoulder, your right shoulder. Reach up and gently press your head down so you feel the stretch up the left side of your neck. Now this really only works if you're sitting up tall, not slouching. Again, neck flexibility is so important for posture and for avoiding back and neck problems. And release. Great. And let's finish by standing up and doing standing stretches. And down. And inhale. And down. Arms up. And down. And up. And down. Breathe. It's up. And down. Last time, it's up and down. Congratulations. You finished your workout. Good for you. You should feel amazing. I hope you feel amazing. I'll see you next time. Thanks for being with me. Welcome to this second and um, a little more challenging workout. You're going to be working out for about 25 minutes, and I'm, I'm sure glad you're here with me. You're going to need some hand weights. I have dumbbells, but you could use cans of food or bottles of water, and as you get stronger, they can get heavier. You're gonna need a chair and a towel for when we stretch, and some water close by so you can stay hydrated. Let's put down our weights, and we're gonna start with a little word about posture, because it's so important, always throughout life, but especially now. Pull up tall. Feel that a string is pulling you up from the top of your head. Your shoulders are back and down, but don't let your rib cage stick out and pull your abdominals in. And again, don't just think of sucking your abs in. Imagine someone's about to punch you and you, you steel yourself against the punch. That's what you have to do when I say abs engaged. That's right. Knees are slightly soft. This is how your posture should be. Put your hand to your nose and then pull your face back about an inch. Now your head is right over your spine. You, know, you don't have to look rigid like a soldier, but doesn't that feel good? Doesn't it feel empowering? This is the way leaders should stand. We have to teach our young girls to stand this way. Now with that posture in your body and in your mind, we're going to do standing stretches. Inhale up and down. Up and down. Two more. Up. Really stretch and down. Warming up our shoulders last time. Up and down, and now reach, and reach, and reach, and reach. Feel it in your waist. Stretch, that's right. And stretch, and three, and two, last time, great. Stand up tall, now we're gonna do our first exercise, standing pelvic tilts. Squeeze your abs in, <clears throat> shoulders back, bend your knees a little bit, Exhale, rock forward, squeeze, and back. Forward, squeeze, and back. Exhale, forward, inhale, back. Exhale, squeeze, and back. Keep your abs tight, and back. Pull up tall, and back. And squeeze, and back. And tighten, that's right, and back. Last time, and back. Great, now we're gonna do ankle circles. Walk to the side of your chair. You can hold on if you need to. Maybe you don't need to. We're gonna do 10 times clockwise and 10 times counterclockwise. Ready, and circle. Ankle mobility is really important for balance. Do you know that every year, one in three people over 65 fall, and this can lead to potentially crippling, even fatal fractures in reverse? It's really serious. And the reason we fall more now is because there's the normal tendency as we age to lose our sense of equilibrium. Three, two, one, great. Now we're gonna change sides. Again, we start 10 times clockwise and circle. You know, as we age, various physiological changes in the inner ear, the bottoms of our feet and our eyesight challenge our sense of balance and reverse. And that's why it's important now to stay strong and practice balancing whenever we can. Three, two, one, that's great. Now we're gonna bend over with a flat back. Feet are hip distance apart. 
Inhale, exhale, slide your hands down your thighs. Keep looking at the TV, don't collapse down. And up, and squeeze. And down, don't hyperextend your knees, keep them soft. And up, and squeeze those glutes. And down, and up, and squeeze. This exercise is great for the backs of the legs muscles strong for walking, bending over, and picking up grandchildren. Yes. And up and squeeze. Keep your back flat like it's a tabletop. And keep looking at me. And up and squeeze. Four more. Down. Down. Stick your buttocks out so you feel that stretch. And up. Up and squeeze. Down. We're stretching the hamstrings. And up and squeeze, and down, stretch it back, and up, and squeeze those glutes, last time down, flat back, reach it out, feel the stretch, and come up, and squeeze, yay, good for you. Now we're gonna do chair squats. Sit in the chair, your feet are about hip distance apart, your knees are aligned with your feet, don't let your knees roll in, we're going to get up and down. Try not to use your hands at first. Ready and up and down. Drive the weight into your heels as you stand up. If you have to use your hands, fine. But a gra a gradually, as you get stronger, you won't need to. And now the goal is to build up the strength so you can do it without using your hands. Make sure your chest stays high, your shoulders are back, your head is up looking at me. Don't look at your knees. Don't let your knees cave in. You know, the muscles come in pairs, one pair to push, the other to pull, and you have to exercise both equally. We're working the quadriceps now, the front of the thighs, and right after this, we're going to be working the hamstrings at the back of the thigh. We're almost done. Inhale down, two more, and up, and down. Great job. Last time, and down. Great. We're going to have another set of those coming up. I know you just can't wait. Stand up, grab your dumbbells. We're gonna bring the opposite elbow to the opposite knee. Reach up, ready, and one, two. Keep your body in one plane. Avoid tipping your body from side to side. By doing this, you're working your core. And you exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Pulse is increasing, it's getting a little aerobic, that's good. Four more, three more, two more, last time, yay. Put your dumbbells away and let's get behind the chair. We're gonna do alternating hamstring curls. Remember I said we were working our thighs, now we're working the back of the legs. Holding onto your chair, if you have to, kick. The higher up you can get your heel, the closer to your buttocks, the more you work your hamstring muscles. <sighs> Make sure your abs are engaged. Don't rock side to side. You know that without regular muscle building exercises, we, we lose muscle mass and tone, and especially of this part, legs, hips, thighs, the trunk, and this can have a real effect on balance. And kick, and kick, that's right, and breathe and pull up tall, and two more, one and two, yay. Step to the left side of your chair now. Get your weights, stand up tall, bring your left foot behind you with minimal weight on your back toe, just enough to balance, okay? The palms are facing out, facing the television set. You're gonna bring your dumbbells up and down. Now we're working the biceps, and down. We're a little bit unstable, that's on purpose. Because what this means is that while we're working the biceps, we're also working our core muscles to keep us standing up. We just want a little weight on the back toe. And reach, and down, and pull up toe. And down, four more, and down. Engage the abs, and down, two more. That's up, and down, and last time, up, and down, very good. Now we're gonna stand with our feet a little more than hip distance apart, shoulders back, abs in, elbows close to your side. We're 
gonna bend over with knees soft, flat back, and lift up and down and up and down. Stand up, squeeze and down and lift and down and lift and down. Stand up and squeeze and down and open and close. Lift out. This is great for the back and shoulders. And up and squeeze down and up and down. Exhale, inhale. Stand up, squeeze, and down. Last time, out and in, out and in, up, squeeze, and that's it. Good for you. Now we're going to alternate front shoulder raises. This works this front part of the shoulder. It's really great for making strong, healthy shoulders. Hold your weights by your side. We're going to alternate sides. Bring one arm up and down. Keep the abs engaged, keep your back straight, your head up, feel proud, look like a leader, doesn't matter what size you are, if you feel good inside your body it's going to make all the difference, lift and lower, keep breathing, up and down. I was just remembering a letter I got from a, a gal that used to do my workout and she said one morning when she looked in the mirror and saw herself brushing her teeth, she saw a muscle in her arm. She said, that day I went to my office and I stood up to my boss for the first time. Four more, lift and down. You never know what's gonna happen when you get strong. And up and down and up and down. Last time, that's up and down. Great, now put your weights down. And let's come behind the chair for, for squats. You're gonna hate me, but it's my favorite exercise. Hold on to your chair if you have to. Put your legs apart, toes slightly out. Lower your body down as low as you can go in order to hold it for one minute. That's right, it's intense. Keep your knees over your toes. You know, you don't want them to roll in. Keep them out. The goal is to eventually come down so that your thighs are parallel with the floor, your buttocks are on a level with your knee. We just hold this. <laughs> you feel a, a heat building up, you can feel the burning. That's because we're so stressing the thigh muscles that lactic acid is building up. That's a good sign. It means we're really, really working those muscles. Remember when I used to say, go for the burn? This is what I was talking about. Keep pulling up tall, chest lifted, stomach in, head up. According to research, people from 50 to 72 years old can actually increase their muscle mass 200 times with exercise. I think that's just amazing. Why can't it be you? Okay, we're almost there. Hang in there. Four, three, two, one. Shake your legs out. You know, and when you do these exercises, if you need to at some point, stand up and shake your legs out and then just come right back down where I am. So let's grab the weights again. We're gonna do standing tricep extensions. Your knees are soft, lift your arms up over your head and bring them back and raised. And back and raised. Keep your upper arms stable, close to your head. I don't want to mess up my hair so they're not right against my head. And lift and inhale, exhale. Abdominals are engaged, back is strong. You're working your triceps in the back of the arms. You've got four more. And exhale, inhale, two more. And back, last time, and back. Great. Now keep your weights. We're going to do shoulder raises to the side. We're gonna have soft elbows and lift up and down. Exhale, up and down. Remember I used to say, think of hugging a big tree. Those arms are a little bit bent. And control it down, don't just let it fall. Bring them down slowly and repeat. This is strengthening your shoulders. Abs are engaged, oh, you're gonna get tired of hearing me say that, but it's so important. Strong stomach, strong backs, we have four more. Three more, and two 
two more. And last time, up and down. And now with both your weights in hand, we're gonna do bend over rows. Feet a little more than hip distance apart. Bend down with a flat back. Now this time, look at the ground. Don't let your head drop. Keep your neck engaged. I just don't want you to go like this and your neck. You're gonna have a neutral neck. Let your arms hang down. And row up and down. Keep your elbows close to your sides. And up. These are working important back muscles. The knees are slightly soft. The back is like a tabletop. Your head is right on alignment with your spine and you're breathing. You exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Abs are tight and down. Two more and down. Last time and down. Straighten up, good for you. Now we're gonna bring our arms overhead, palms facing forward, and bring your elbow to the same knee, alternating sides. And inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Really feel the crunch in your side, working your oblique muscles in the sides of your waist. That's right. Very controlled. And breathe. And strong. I know this is challenging, but it's great for your core strength and your balance. Yes. Keep going. Three more. Two more. Last time, yay. Put down your weights. And we're gonna do alternating side leg lifts. Try to do it without using the chair for balance if you can. Starting to the right and lift and down. Lift and down. Knees are just a little soft. Exhale, inhale. Keep your hips stable, your abs engaged. If you have to hold onto the chair, do it. This is really good for a not very used muscle called the gluteus medius in your buttocks. If it gets weak, it can throw off the alignment of our hips and knees, causing injury as we get older. And lift and down, and lift and down, and lift, and three more, and two more. Last time, great. Now for the second set of chair squats. Remember, feet are right under your knees, 90 degree angle, pull up tall, abs engaged, ready, and. You know, the average adult spends 61% of their waking hours sitting. It's true. And scientists are starting to believe that simply getting up and walking a few steps every hour can be a big help. Now make sure your chest stays high, your shoulders are back, you're looking right at me, your knees aren't caving in, keep them in line with your ankles. You know that lifting weights or doing any kind of resistance training with weights or bands not only increases your muscle mass, it also improves the strength of your bones, which reduces your risk of osteoporosis. And down. And two more. And down. Last time up. And down. Really good. Really, really good. Now we're going to do core chops. Take one, one weight. Hold it in both hands, feet apart. Knees slightly bent going to down and up and down and up. Do it very controlled. Don't just sort of swing it. Use your muscles in the core, your trunk, your torso. And up and down. Keep your abdominals engaged and down. This is an excellent way to increase your range of motion. Do you know that most people pull their backs out just reaching for something? Four more. This is good for functional sports too, like, like golf or tennis. Up and down. Last time, that's up and down. Now the other side. And up and down. Exhale, up and down. And up and down. Flying a kite. Now that we've strengthened our muscle, guess what? We need to stretch them. So have your towel close. 
Spotify. You're gonna need it for this first one, or maybe not. Some of you can just grab your foot, pull it in like this. I used to be able to do that. If you can't do that, try pulling your pants. You get your knee back, your heel up. If you can't do that, use a towel. That's what we have it for. <sighs> Holding onto the chair. Pull your heel as high up as you can into your buttock. That bent knee, that thigh, should be lined up with your standing leg, not forward. And when well, you probably can't get it back, have it right on, right lined up next to it. And pull the heel closer to your buttocks. That's right, good. Now the other side. that heel in. And don't forget, the bent leg is lined up with your standing leg. It's not up here, it's back. Push it back as you pull your heel into your buttock. You know that we have to hold every stretch for 20 seconds in order for the muscle fibers to really relax and stretch. You know, so don't try to rush through these stretches. Almost through, and there you go. Let it go, put your towel down. We're gonna need it in a minute. Now stretch your left leg back. Press the heel, oh, into the ground. Feel the stretch up the back of the leg and the upper calf muscle. The front knee, again, is lined up with the toes. To maximize the stretch, you can come forward even more. You've got to breathe into the stretch. Breathe. That's great. Now bring that back foot a little bit closer. And then again, bend the knee with the knee aligned with the toes. Now what you're doing is stretching the lower calf muscle. Can you feel it down lower? That's right. Bring it a little lower if you can. This is really good for women who wear high heels a lot because their Achilles tendon gets shortened. This is stretching it out, so it's going to be hard for y'all. Good. And now the other leg. Stretch it back. Press your heel into the floor. Always hold the stretch for a minimum of 20 seconds for it to really be efficient. Back up, tummy pulled in, breathe. Four, three, two, one, and now bring that foot forward a little and bend the knee, keeping it right in alignment with the toes. Now you can feel the stretch in the lower calf. I don't wear high heels anymore, so this is um, not as hard for me as it is for some. I'm stretched out there anyway. Almost done. One, great. Now you're going to put your right foot forward and flex your foot real hard. And pull down. Pull your chest down. Stretch your buttocks back. Feel the stretch in the hamstring up the back of your legs. It's so good. and we've exercised because it tells me I really, you know, I pushed it. Not too hard. You have to learn the difference between real pain and exertion pain because you've just done a good job of working out. And other leg. Flex the foot forward and pull back with your buttocks. Pull down with your chest. Maximize the stretch on the back of your leg. That's the hamstring muscle that you're feeling. We've worked that a lot, so it's good to stretch it out. No collapse. down. We're going to stretch out our hips and our glutes. Put your right ankle on your left knee. Good. I can really feel it. If it's too intense for you, straighten out this leg a little and put the ankle in the front of the knee. That makes it a little less intense, but you know, I like pushing the envelope, so I'm going to put mine up there. And I used to be able to push my knee way down. I can't anymore. Just gently press to maximize the stretch. You're, you're really stretching the hip and glutes. It's so good. Okay. Other side. Now here. Good. Remember, you can go like this if it's, if it's too intense.
chest and bicep stretch. Get your towel and put it behind your chair. Your palms are facing backwards and you're going to lift your arms up. The closer your hands are together on the towel, the harder it's going to be. Sit up tall, engage your abs. Your chest can get really tight. That leads to bad posture, so it's really good to stretch it like this. Hold it there, lift it a little higher if you can. right arm and press it across your body. Bring the other arm underneath, underneath, and press that shoulder. Press it into your chest. Boy, I really feel the stretch right here. Do you? See, when you do this, you don't, don't drop forward as you press. Keep your shoulder pulled back, and then pull against it with your hand. Pressing your arm across your chest. Pull up tall and slouch. Keep breathing. It's almost done. So you should be laughing. And now the other side, arm across your chest, other arm underneath, and press it in. Pulling the shoulder back as you press. And breathe. And breathe. Drink as much water as you can all during the day. It's unbelievable how important it is to hair and skin and all kinds of bodily functions. And release. Now for a next stretch. Right hand under your chair, tuck your chin towards your left shoulder and bring your left hand up and gently press your head down. Now you notice I'm not pressing forward, I'm pressing sideways like a robin tucking its little beak in its wing. Pull up tall, don't collapse. Feel the stretch up the side of the neck. Three, two, Release, other side. This time you press your chin towards your right shoulder, right hand on your head, gently press your chin towards your armpit. The other hand is under the chair, which is keeping you from tipping over and allowing you to maximize the stretch. Keep breathing. And release. and down, up, and down, four more, up, and down, and three, and down, and two, and down, and last time, up, and down, yay, congratulations, I'm so glad you hung in there with me, you should feel amazing, I'll see you next time, okay, good, bye.